All right, today we are grocery shopping. Curious about the prices of some of the staple foods, as well as the availability of some of the more unique items that maybe we haven't seen before here in Helsinki, Finland. And first things first, big smokestack right beside the entrance. Oh. Interesting. I guess the grocery store <laughs> is in a mall and right beside it is, looks like an industrial smokestack. Something new. Anyway, let's get shopping. Ooh, very fancy doors on the way in. So nice. All right, let's start off with fruit and veg. And so the first thing we notice here in the Finnish grocery store is there's no need to cross multiply and divide. So for example, uh, these tomatoes are 3.99 euro for 0.23 kilograms. Whereas these tomatoes are 3.38 for 0.2 kilograms. And so you might wonder which one is the better deal. It's kind of close on the math. And so it's quite convenient that in the bottom right of each price tag, they do the per kilo uh, conversion for you. And that seems to be true for all of the fruits here. So the fruit and veg prices are pretty familiar to Canada, but it's quite helpful with the signage. There's no need to do uh, math, which sometimes can be quite close and quite difficult. So it's uh, very convenient. And just beside the fruit and veg, we have a small bakery where you'll see a lot of this particular treat. This is a very common type of bread here in Finland. I guess the inside is kind of like rice pudding or mashed potatoes. Yeah. And maybe the outside is sort of like an English muffin, although not really. It's pretty unique here in Finland and you'll see it everywhere. And I guess this phenomenon of the price tag is happening all across the supermarket. It's quite helpful, the yeah. conversion being done for you. Easy to navigate. Easy to navigate. And of course, some fresh bread here. It's gonna cost you about four euros a package. Looks good, uh, feels good. I don't wanna touch it too much, but uh, I guess Finland is known for their fresh bread, especially rye bread, rye bread which yes. is something I've learned since coming here. I did not know that before coming. <laughs> uh, Finnish people love bread. And typically on these supermarket tours, we like to show the cheapest loaf of sliced bread just as a sort of measuring stick. I guess it's this one here, 169 euro. Uh, I'm not sure how many people eat this because they got some good oh, yeah. fresh bread right beside this one. But in the end, it's uh, a lot cheaper because that four euro bread is it's expensive, no? I think it's quite expensive. For a loaf of bread, maybe it's good, but <laughs> four euros is a lot. And not only rye bread, but also cinnamon rolls are very common and popular here in Finland, which is something I've learned since being here. I didn't know that. And uh, the price is not here, it just says 36. I guess the idea is you would weigh it and press 36. This is the price. Uh, although they have the per kilo price, yes. 17 euros a kilo. Seems like a lot, but how much is one way? Maybe that's, that's like five or six of them, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. In the end, it's a surprising thing. Rye bread and uh, cinnamon yeah. rolls. And of course, salmon, which is right ahead of us, oh, it looks like. Yum. And I guess not only salmon, and this must be very fresh because the price is about 35 euros a kilogram. Uh, it's a lot, no? Yeah, but I think salmon is expensive. Maybe it's really fresh and good salmon caught in the cold water nearby. It could be <laughs> delicious. Yeah. And along with the salmon comes the salmon products. There's a bunch of, I guess, like cold salad or mayonnaise and salmon salad over here. But the star of the show is the smoked salmon. It looks so good. And believe it or not, it actually smells so good. You guys know I'm not a fish lover, but the smoked salmon smell is amazing. And unfortunately, our translation software is having a hard time with these uh, price tags here. Although we know this one is smoked salmon fillet. Looks yeah. like 49 euros a kilo, which is not cheap, but oh man, it smells so good, good, right? Yeah. I've never smelled a smoked fish smell that made me say, mmm, mm. but it smells delicious. Yeah, Stay tuned for that. So Maybe good. we'll go to a restaurant and get some smoked salmon fillets. I'm ready for that. And in terms of meat prices, the pork chops look great and they're 15 euros a kilo. Which is not cheap, but they do look delicious. And then beef is like 23 euros per kilogram. I bet you there's a cheaper place to get some more prepackaged meat. This is like the fresh butcher section, which looks really good, but seems to be a bit expensive. And then chicken breast is about 16 
euros a kilo and the legs are like seven euros per kilo. Uh, maybe sort of similar to Canadian pricing, which is kind of expensive. Yeah. Okay. Hey, same bananas like Canada. Chiquita. Same brand. Really? Chiquita. Or, yeah, same brand. Chiquita. I think you buy the bottle and fill it up with the Oh, you're right. Orange. Yeah, you're right. Juice. Yeah, 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 you're right. You buy the small, medium, or large. Right. And then you fill it up. Fresh okay. juice. Not a bad idea. For the grocery store. And here is the cheese section, which I am very curious about because you know I love cheese. First of all, it looks very good, this kind of cheese. It looks very flavorful. This block, for instance, seven euros. Yummy. Looks good. And the pricing is not too bad because cheese can be pretty expensive. Does Finland produce cheese? I don't know, but it smells so good over here. We should leave before I spend all of our money. <laughs> um, this kind of cheese looks very real. Looks kind of delicious, no? Very flavorful. Four and a half euros. Cheese seems to be pretty fair price in uh, in Finland. Similar to Canada. Similar to Canada again. Holy jumping! The cheese section goes on and on and on. I guess this is the more processed cheese, yeah. but some good prices here. This thing so big is a kilo. It's like mm -hmm. a heavy weight. It's only seven and a half euro. Yeah. Good wow. price, no? Or even five and a half for Gouda. Eight hundred grams. Good prices, no? Yeah, and cheddar. Cheddar, five point seven five euro. A block of cheddar. Very nice. Good not job, bad. Finland. Yeah, not bad at all. This is the kind of cheese we usually buy. I think it's more processed, but it's not. This is still good. Still that okay. one is more artesanal. Ah, right, right, right. <laughs> now, according to my translation software, this is called bread cheese. Ivana, you know what this is? Is it bread or is it cheese? The translation cheese. software says bread cheese. Oh, it looks like cheese. It looks like cheese, but it's kind of cooked on the outside in the it same. Looks like it's from corn. Is it corn? <laughs> Hard to say. Sometimes the Google Translate hits a limit where it doesn't really make sense. Uh, bread cheese, almost worth trying. Maybe it's like a cheese tortilla. There's a lot of them. It seems like a common product. Never seen it before. Something new for us. And I guess they've got some pre-made, pre-cooked and uh, prepared food here, which is really good price. I mean, this thing is two and a half or 2.7 euros. I think it's just rice and meat with not even any sauce. But a good option for a student, no? Yeah, yeah. Or a young person? Come on, two and a half euros? This, like meatballs and mashed potatoes. I oh, this is a pretty full meal here. This is almost 10 euros, almost nine. Not bad, that's manageable. For a young person. Yeah. Cheaper than a restaurant, probably. Yeah, I think you can so. Get some food on the go, not bad. Oh, for the win, go for the local soda. 43 cents a liter. Can't be that bad, come on. Now that looks yummy, doesn't it? Ho, 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 ho big jug of real honey where it's sort of separated in the bottom oh honey is good stuff and i guess finnish language is at least a bit related to english because a lot of words are similar for instance i saw this and i thought okay there's some ground beef and i said wait a second this looks a little different than ground beef and the sign says uh veganen which i'm gonna say means vegan yes this is the vegan uh beef. beyond beef or something <laughs> yeah Now, it wouldn't be a supermarket tour without us talking about mustard. And so I guess synapia means mustard. And they've got a bunch of different types of mustard here, including vakeva, synapia, which means strong mustard. I bet you this is good stuff. And for seven and a half euros a kilo, I think we'll pick up a tube of strong mustard. <laughs> All right, so we've only been in Finland for two or three days here on our trip. But I can tell you the good news and the bad news. The good news is I'll probably lose some weight. And the bad news is it's because beer is expensive over here. <laughs> and so this is the cheapest beer I've found. It's 241 for a half liter. Although I'm thinking maybe there's a discount if you get more. Because 452 is not double that price. So maybe you get a discount if you get more than one. But this is not that cheap, and it's the cheapest one I can find. Not to mention, some of the IPAs over there are up to like 10 euros a liter. It's like, wow, very expensive. Now, thanks to the YouTube comments, I've learned about this drink. I guess this is distinctly Finnish. Gin and lemon. It's about the price of one of those IPAs. Four and a half euros for one can. And I guess this is uh, commonly 
consumed finished drink. I love the label, original, because it's gin and lemon. And I think I'll buy one. It's a bit expensive, but I'd like to try it. I wonder if it's sweet. Let's try it. I'll buy one, Ivana. Now, we've come to the frozen treat section where there's lots of ice cream and familiar products. But this is something we see a lot of. Uh, I guess the flavor is... Salted licorice. This might be really good. I like salt and I like licorice. <laughs> and this particular one is like an ice cream salted licorice. Uh -huh. But we see it with everything, even a... A, a drink. A drink was like salted licorice drink. Interesting. <laughs> I could love that flavor. Do you like black licorice flavor? Not really. Oh, see, I kind of like it, so maybe I would I would go for this. Yeah, wow, check it out. This is the coffee section, which to be clear has a bunch of candy and chocolate and a bunch of familiar stuff, but a huge section of black licorice, which I think we'll try some because I don't mind black licorice and they've got about 40 or 50 variations of black licorice candy. <laughs> yeah, this is the most famous brand. This one seems to be, yeah, this is the same ice cream we saw. Yeah. I have a lot in common with Finnish people. I, I feel I feel connected right, to this place. Right. I feel like connected to this place. You like hockey. Hockey, the snow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Finnish, 10% maybe. And I tell you what, it seems like, and this could just be our impression, but it seems like Finnish people like Mexican food. They got yeah. tacos, sauce. This is guacamole. guacamole. We've seen more than a few taco restaurants outside. They got salsa. salsa tortilla section it seems like uh mexican food especially tacos have caught on in finland that's at least our impression yes. there's two taco restaurants near our place <laughs> true, true. <laughs> and i tell you what it's funny how these supermarket tours work because every country has something that's just completely cheap it's a very good deal and in finland it's coffee wow i can't believe it this is good quality coffee it looks like it's that sort of uh vacuum sealed brick uh and it's like six euros for a half kilo or 11 and a bit euros a kilo. This is a good price. In Canada, this would be 20 or 25 bucks. I think so. Wow, good job, Finland. And the no name brand, I guess, extra, it's only. Oh my gosh, I mean, four euros a kilo. And I bet you it's good enough coffee. I think Finnish people love coffee. I think it has a good coffee culture over here. Yes. We've seen a lot of coffee shops too. That's right. And the prices are, I mean, unmatched in the developed world at least in the place we've been uh best price for coffee wow now in terms of chips they don't have lays at this particular supermarket which is a bit of a bummer because we like to do lays comparison but they do have consistently large bags of chips everywhere you look extra large size which i'm a fan of and they're about three euros for a big bag or about 12 euros a kilo mm -hmm. Uh, they look good though. I've got a lot in common with Finnish people. The large chips, the strong mustard, tacos, coffee. I'm like, I, I'm feeling at home in the Finnish supermarket. <laughs> in conclusion, we bought this bag of groceries for 35 euros, which is not bad. Yeah. Sort of continuing our theme with how Finland is sort of similar to Canada. I think it's similar pricing with some exceptions. The coffee is much cheaper over here, right. like much cheaper, and the beer is more expensive. Right. But it's a rainy and windy day, so we figured we'd do some grocery shopping and go home and make some burgers. Bye bye, thanks for watching. Origin. Oh. Love the name. Hopefully, not too sweet. Not bad. A bit synthetic in the taste, but I could, I could jam. Will it replace a cold beer? I don't think so, but it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, lemonade. Gin and lemonade. Dangerous though, because you cannot taste alcohol at all, and it's five and a half percent. Oh, sugary. A little bit sweet, one is enough. <laughs>